so you must clean the spaces take away anything dust any dirt that will be there even grease you must make sure that it's clean and also keep in mind of how the spaces were you must make sure that after you service the headset you put back the spaces as they were for some other people they might have done the bike fit so you can't afford to to mess around with their measurements so please if you can't remember or if you can't memorize it's rather better to take a picture of how the headset was before you before you open it up before you remove it was very important that after you service it you put it back how it was so yeah so it's very important that you remove it's very important that you remove all the old grease you must remove old grease um, before you you apply or before you put new grease you must make sure that you put um you remove all the old grease uh, and make sure that your bearings are clean as clean as you can so i'm done with the, the top i'm going to the bottom okay the bearing is actually here on the fork um so the good thing about this client's bike is that he his, his headset is not that dirty and also his bearings they are still in a very good condition so we're just going to clean them up and um and apply new fresh grease um because you can't afford to ride your bike with a squeak headset or with a shake headset just make sure that you do it properly so we are removing all the grease before we apply the new grease uh, must make sure that all, all the grease is removed okay on the fork as well must make sure that you wipe down all the grease down So I think it's now clean. Now after we make sure that it's clean, then we take um, we take our bearing, we apply some grease around the bearing to make sure the whole bearing is covered with the grease. That way you will know um, you protect your bearing as well from rust. Because if there's not enough grease, remember the bike rides during rain season and all that so you must make sure that you put enough grease to to protect your bearings from rust and yeah as a base um the adjuster here so yeah you must make sure you apply your grease color collect correctly so that when you put your fork it must slide it must just slide in you mustn't struggle so we're done with the top grease, the uh, top bearing. So now we're going to do the bottom one. So there we go. All right. All right. We are done with the re greasing. Now we need to. So you must clean your hands all the time, so that you don't mess up the bike now we want to put back the spaces as they were remember what i said that you must keep in mind how the spaces were so that when you put them back you don't put them anyhow so let me put my fork from the bottom there we go i must make sure that my cables they are running correctly okay i slide my fork in then these two spaces away under the stem so i put them as they were I remove all other grease that might be coming out uh -huh. then after that put back my stem all right then after that there were three spaces on top they okay, I put them back then uh, I'm putting my cap then I tighten um, I 
kept. So you can play, you can um, move your, your fork left and right to feel if it's, it's moving freely or if there's any squeak or any grinding. But now the good thing about my headset, it's smooth, smooth like butter. So, so here we go. So my headset service is done. Um, so what I now need to do is after I put my wheels back, I can then align my stem. I hope this is going to help you. Thank you guys for joining. Thank you guys for subscribing. Please share this video with some other people that might need to know how to work on their bikes. See you.